I want to punch you in the face. Stab you with a sword. I hope you lose all your hair. Get eaten by a bear. Strangle yourself with a telephone cord. Lean out a window a little too far. Don't look both ways. Get hit by a car. Chuck on an hour and later. Get your shoelaces caught in an escalator. In short, I hope you die. Maybe it's wrong to wish death on someone you had so much love for. But since we shared so much, it makes me want to kill you more! Hi everybody! Welcome back to this webisode of Edgy Questions. Mm -hmm. um, we've been getting absolutely smothered with your emails, so keep them coming. Um, this keep week, <laughs> This week we're focusing on the topic of breakups. Mm -hmm. A very oh, yeah. popular topic. Alright. I don't like this topic. No, it's not. A, no, does it, no one likes breakups. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anyone in my life say, God, I love a good breakup. <laughs> well, no. let, let's see what this let's person what, has maybe, to say. Maybe <laughs> Stephanie from Etobicoke. Uh, Alright, Dear Edges Cast. Awesome webisode so far. Hmm. Well, you know. Uh, who, is the, who is the guy in each one playing keyboard? He's always there, but never introduced. He's not here now. <laughs> uh, my friends and I call him the magical keyboard elf. Not sure why. Because he sort of looks like one? <laughs> yeah, no, Maybe. that's fair. That, um, the magical keyboard elf, that is our good friend Reza Jacobs. He's our, he's our musical director and... He hails from India. <laughs> is that right? Beautiful. I don't think it's India. <laughs> is it like Kuwait or something? Yes. Oh. yes. He does not hail from India. No. Either way, we would love him if he was we from are, India too. We are lost without him. We are. He's, he's our... a beautiful, beautiful man. He is. Mm -hmm. He's wonderful. Yesterday All right. he was wearing a bird on his hat. He was. It, it was very zen. The All right. Child. Anyway, here is my crappy breakup story. Oh, oh that doesn't good. bode well. Yeah, I see. There you go. Ah, uh, Stephanie. I met Adam online. When we finally met in person, I fell in love with him. I thought things were going quite well when he announced out of the blue that he was moving back to his hometown. I didn't think we needed to break up because the town was only two hours away. It's doable. When I said so, he confessed that he was moving home to get back with his ex. Then I found their wedding announcement online. <laughs> That's not funny, Sarah. <laughs> uh, I found their wedding announcement online. The wedding date had already passed. He'd been married a month before he broke up with me. Oh That's not cool. <laughs> What the hell? It says so right there, Mom. I had to read it. If I tried to hit him with my car, do you think that I could get off with, on self-defense, or would it be manslaughter or first degree? Whoa. Anxiously awaiting your reply. Stephanie from Etobicoke. These, some of these questions are kind of scary. That's what, now, see, manslaughter or first degree would entail death, so um, <laughs> we don't want yeah. that. Yeah, and it is worth mentioning that it would probably be manslaughter. Of the two, it's not going to be first degree if you can make it look like it wasn't premeditated. Are you a lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, Are you Derek Chua? <laughs> I am actually Derek Chua. Uh, <laughs> um, well, and it's you were also saying, could you that be self defense? No. No, he wasn't. No. he wasn't um, offending you. I think we're, what we're saying is, don't hit anyone with your car, no. please. But you know what? I, then your car will get. And your insurance is going to go through but, the roof. But you know what? I sympathize with you because Adam, Adam's not cool. Right. He was married for a month while he was dating you. Oh. And I know this isn't what you want to hear, but think about, well, his wife is also, that's not cool on his wife, because that means he was married and having an affair with her for a month. Have you ever seen the movie The First Wives Club? I think it might be worth your while for some Totes. research. And then, if nothing um, else, then to see the fabulous closing number, you don't own me. True. <laughs> but it's a real, it's a real lesson in, in the bonding of women mm -hmm. in times of men being dicks. That's going to be a musical. Is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> First Wives Club. Oh, am I the only one that I hasn't seen this film? I would say that is a really good one. It's really I, good. Awesome. Um, Thanks, Stephanie. Um, I hope we helped answer your question. I don't, uh, um, it's ben, a and little... ben and Jerry's. Lots of Ben and yeah, Jerry's. Yeah, um, totally. And, and cookies. Try, try and cookies. tone it down with the killing from now on. And be wary of guys you meet online. Just mm -hmm. say it. Um, Who but don't let this stop you from coming to our show, which starts October 20th at Revival, um, Sundays and Mondays. Uh, visit us at edgestorona.com, uh, and don't we'll see you there. Line. Maybe take the Don't need a man there, there, though. No. 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 Maybe at Maybe our show, show. Maybe at our show, yeah. Maybe at our show, you will meet the man of your dreams. Yeah. Oh? Well, there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> Sucks
that we can't Cause you're a prick who deserves to die Die, 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 die,